lovers welcome back to my youtube channel my name is abiola so today we'll learn how to draft these beautiful outfits here okay and um, today also i want to start from the scratch as in i don't want to assume we all know how to draft a basic body so okay so i am going to start by teaching us how to draft a full scale bodies okay so for a full scale bodies you need the widest part of your measurements which is the hip so the hip i'm working with here is 42 so because i want to drag both front and back together so i need to divide my 42 into two to give me 21 then i'll have two inches for that allowance and the rest so i have 23 inches so you can see from this center front to this is 23 inches so the 23 inches i'll go ahead and divide it into two i got 11.5 and i make it a straight line down i hope you understand that okay so this automatically becomes my shoulder line so now let's um draw out the vertical lines okay so from the shoulder line i want to mark my chest line so chest line is also the same thing as half of your hand pull or you can do your boss divided by four sorry your boss divided by six plus 1.5 or plus one okay so my boss divided by six plus 1.5 and plus my shoulder slope gives me eight inches here for the measurement i'm working with give me eight inches okay so i drew the chest line you can see from the front to the back so let me just highlight as i explain okay so this is my chest line following the formula so this is my chest line for both front and back okay so from the shoulder to i measured my bust points then i measured my under bust my waist measurements and my hip measurement shoulder to hip okay so this is my shoulder to bust or my bust points this is my shoulder to under bust this is my shoulder to waist or my half length and this is my shoulder to hip okay so for the back the same thing the same thing for the back my shoulder to waist or half length then my shoulder to hip okay so i will highlight that one also there is another measurement i would like to impute at the back because of the style line we are working with my that's my shoulder to nipple yes shoulder to nipple measurement though we don't have nipple at the back but i just want to impute it because on the spine line we are working so i'll just i'll not highlight it so that it will not conf like confuse us okay so for my center front so this is my front and this is my back so i'm i'm drafting from the center front to the side front and from the center back to the side back okay so on the shoulder line i want to mark my shoulder measurement which is seven inches i will put the same thing on the chest line and i will draw a straight line i hope we are following the same thing to at the back of the center back i mark my shoulder i repeat the same thing on the chest line just to get a straight line okay so for the back i will just divide what i have into two but before that i'll add my one inch i will measure my one inch that's my shoulder slope okay the shoulder slope for the back is one inch or the shoulder slope for the front is 1.5 okay so i will measure what i have left which is seven inches i divide into two give me 3.5 then i'll go in by half inch i hope we understand that it should be here yeah, i'll go in by half inch because i'm drafting upside down i'm going by half inch then for the front i'll come on by three inches i'll go in by 0 0.75 okay so i'll connect it to the shoulder slope for both front and back so simple i hope you can get that so now on the chest line so let me just quickly level my bust points my honda bust my waistline and my hip okay this is the waistline 
and the hip or the hem okay so now on the chest line i'm going to mark my bust divided by four which gives me nine inches here yeah? i have my nine inches please i'll highlight the marker then the same thing here my nine inches can you see then i'll come with my curve I'll come with my curve and draw my arm hole. So please just go ahead and use your own accurate measurements. It is so simple. Okay, so the next thing now is to go to the waist measurement. The waist I'm working with is 31. 31 divided by 4 gives me 7.75. Then I'm going to add 1.5. For my dad allowance, then I will connect. Then the same thing here, my waist divided by four plus one point five dad allowance. Then the hip I'm working with, I have it here as ten point five. Then the same thing I have it there, oh, ten point five. So you can down. Um, let me just come towards the side. You can make it straight or just slightly curved like so. You can also make this straight or just slightly curved. Okay. Now, let's go to the dots. Okay, so I need my nipple to nipple, which is 3.75. So I will start measuring it from the bust point. From the bust point, my 3.75. And I will stop on the hip line, then I will make a connection. Okay, can we see? I will make a connection like so. Okay, so on the waistline, I added 1.5, that's 0 0.75, 0 0.75. I'll connect to the bust points and also connect to the hip. Can you see? So I repeat the same thing too at the back. So my 3.75 on the chest line also. Okay, then I should not forget my two inches that busts that which I will connect. Okay, now the next thing for us now is to contour. But before we contour, let's shape on our back to eliminate all uh, any form of bulge. So what I did was I went in on the waistline by 0 0.75 and I will connect it straight here. But before that, before I connect, because I have to connect it to the neck depth, okay? So let's quickly do the neck. I will go with 3 inches by 1. I might alter it later. So 3 by 1. Then for the front, our standard 3 inches by 3 inches, which will be altered later okay so my three by three then our three by one for the back okay so my connection will stop at the back neck depth then from the waistline i'll connect to the hip let me quickly highlight the neckline Okay. Now I need to contour the underbust measurement. Okay, so for the underbust measurements, you, you you go in for the underbust measurement. We have diff, as in <laughs> different method of contouring the underbust. So I will just go with this. I'm going by three inches from the center front. I'll mark three inches. I have like zero point 
five left. So I'll pick out, place the three inches on the second dart leg to complete my under balls divided by four. So my under balls divided by four I'm working with here is 7.25. Okay. 7.25. So I have, so what I have here, I'll just add half inch to it. Okay. So I'll do a connection. I'll do a connection straight, then another connection like so. You can connect the straight to the down part like so. Okay, so I will just highlight. I just I line with my marker, then I'll come here and connect with the curve back to the bust point, and also with the curve back to the bust points, which I'll also highlight for us to see. Okay. Okay. So now. I hope that is clear. So another thing we need to do is you like like you have zero point two five here, so you can just you know return it back, you know, so that you don't have any shortage like so. Okay, so now I want to determine my cleavage depth. Okay, so the cleavage depth I am working with is um my bust points i want it as low as that or i can just come up by one inch or oh, sorry by half half is just fine for me i came up by half inch from the bust points and i'll also go in by half inch i hope you understand that now we want to alter this is a full basic body now i want to alter it to work to what we are working with okay so i i from the bust points the cleavage depth depends on what you want but me, I, I chose my boss point later. I went all by half inch, like so. And at the same time, you go in by half inch. So if you go up by one inch, it is fine. Just determine your own cleavage depth. So this is my under boss. So I will just connect it. But like I need a guide. Okay? Like I need a guide for my call. Okay, I think this is fine. Okay, so that's my my curve. I'll see I line with marker for us to see. So the, the we need to draw the side. For the side also, I'll repeat the same thing. I'll still go up by half inch. I can just draw a straight line. Okay, now before I draw this second curve. I want to measure what I have, like my bust radius. My bust radius is 3 inches. That's what I have between, from the bust point to the under bust is 3 inches. I will just add half inch to it. That's 3.5. So I'll mark 3.5. Then I will now draw my connection. So, can you see? I'll draw my connection. Now let's alter the neckline. Let me highlight for us to see. Okay, so now let's alter the neckline. I would like to do, but before I alter, let me connect to my shoulder slope. And also connect this to my shoulder slope. Okay, so before I alter, I would like to do my shoulder tightening. I just come down by 0.25 is fine. Then the same thing too at the back. Whatsoever you do to the front, quickly repeat it at the back. Okay, so it's on my shoulder tightening that I will alter my neckline. I want to do four by four. 
please to show the neckline depends on what you want depends on your preference okay okay so here also four then i can just decide to like have a v at the back that's my neck depth this is my own you know my own neckline how i want it to be okay but remember we have altar this is no longer our neckline we have altar so our neckline is this so i have to change it to you know we 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 we, we came in by 0 0.752 prevent um or eliminate bulge at the back so this is no longer the center but so this is the center so your, your zipper allowance starts from this back tightening okay i hope you understand now let's go for the bask for the backs i would like to come down by four inches okay passion lovers i'm so sorry i noticed uh the camera didn't capture the backs uh, size so i want to like explain again so what i did was from the hip line i measured four inches down and i connected it back to the side i did the same thing to, to the back from the hip i measured four inches down and i connected it to the side okay now let's continue okay then i said this is my back yoke but i want uh you know i'll be using two different fabrics so i want the front yoke to like align with the back yoke so remember from the bust points we came up by half inch so that's why i said we should measure the bust points across for both front and back so i'll do the same thing at the back from the bust point i'll just come up by half inch and i'll connect it so that the back front the back uh front yoke, the front yoke and the back yoke can align okay so then i will withdraw so that's why i'm using it the, the words another marker so that we can understand so i want my v neckline to stop where the yoke stops fancy it's very deep i want it that way this is my own um this is what i want so i want to just mark my zipper allowance of one inch you can add it when transferring to fabric and you can add it on the pattern the choice is yours so let me just use a red marker okay okay so can you see so i love to do something like this so that i will know that i have added my zipper allowance okay guys so now let's cut 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 and cut so the end of this place is my back here okay, okay so i want to slash open from the waistline yes because i want the same at the waistline so i'll go to the boss point so that I can close my boss that so let me just slash it through so that it will be easy for me to close okay Okay, now we need to blend our lines. So I need to blend, 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 and blend. Okay, so.
over. So for us to slash, okay, let me just on this shoulder line, this shoulder, um, this is our shoulder. You measure what you have and divide into two. So I already did that. So you just connect straight to the mid shoulder point there. So you can just have this one slash. And then if you, if you still want to do more, you can go ahead. Can you see? And slash more. You can just go ahead and slash more. You can have something like this. And still go. Can you see? And go ahead and slash so you can just have this make sure you don't slash through you can have this and spread as much as you can and or still cut this so i think i will go with this just this one slash it's just fine can you see i can spread as much as i want to then have my gathered back okay guys so we have come to the end of the drafting 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 and drafting remember on the waistline we have a cut there you might not have a cut there and i love to label this is down down this is up up so i'll just do and have this is to this then this to this so like i said when i'm transferring to fabric i'll close my dots okay guys thank you so much for watching this uh, tutorial don't forget to subscribe like and comment do you want me to make a detailed um video on how to join these beautiful pieces together let me have your comment in the comment section i still remain your girl abiola bye for now